Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Family Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic Quarter. Let the first thing you do daily as you wake up, either still lying down on your bed, sitting down, kneeling down, or pacing up and down. You could even take your phone to the restroom or the kitchen if that's the first place you go when you wake up. Listen to Turning Point. Pray with it. Meditate with what you listen to. Pray more on your own, in the Holy Spirit or in your understanding. Then use the turning point daily prayer booklet. Read the day's portion. Pray the day's prayer in, in, in it. Follow the guideline on reading the entire Bible through systematically in a year. If you subscribe online with a token, it will be sent to your phone for daily engagement. For subscription and subscription renewal, chat with Debbie. On plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so today. Welcome again to Tuesday, the twenty third day in April, twenty twenty four. Please open your hand and your heart to receive what God has sent our way today, and be responding with Amen. I receive it. Heaven has penned down your name for special miracles these days. Something good is about to happen for you. I don't know what my listeners have been trusting God for. One thing I'm hearing is telling my heart that his remembrance has come before me. Gates and doors are open for an outpouring. I see a downpour of God's blessings on you. Who is this that is health challenged? Touch where you hurt. Let me pray. God wants to carry out a divine surgery on you. Doctors care. Only God cures. I prophesy, receive the healing touch. Oh, receive the healing touch. You are healed. I want to pray for people who live on medication daily. There are pills you must swallow daily to have a relief. I do not condemn medication, but God can take you off that line. If you believe, pour some quantity of water in a cup or take a water bottle or in such it the quantity you can drink at once after the prayer. Let me pray over it. I prophesy to that water in your hand. It becomes your healing drug. It becomes the healing therapy. Deliverance, wellness, divine virtue, healing virtue, flow into that water now. As you drink by faith, you are set free. I say you are set free. Be completely healed in Jesus' name. Say amen. Drink that water at once. Start thanking God for your total healing. Check up, you are healed. Let me pray for students, all students, no matter your level, primary to secondary to tertiary to professional levels. Touch your forehead gently. Receive great brilliance. Receive grace to act, to excel and be exceptionally well in all you do in the name of Jesus. Everyone, Raise your cell phone again today for alert upon alert prayers. Your remembrance shall come up in the mind of those that will bless you financially. You will be highly patronized. I prophesy alert upon alert, alert upon alert. Before the day is over, your testimonies will come. Who is this? You always help people, give them things, give them support, but no one gives back to you. No one comes to you for support in time of your need. That should not be. You need this prayer. Open your hand. From today, people shall give back to you in return. I prophesy support from far and near. Your life will not lack help and support you need. Say amen. April 23 celebrant. Your bad day prayers. Be blessed. Your bad day is blessed. Before this date next year, you shall have loads of testimonies of changing levels in Jesus' name. Happy bad day. Right, listeners? Welcome to day two of personal, intensive, effective, and effectual passionate prayers. Pray these prayers with passion. They are your prayers. They are prayers that God will answer. First prayers today is from Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And it says, If my people which are called by my name 
shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. This is a prayer of forgiveness and healings. Pray it this way. Say, O oh Lord my God, I am your child by your grace. I humble myself before you. I turn from every evil way, and I call upon the name of Jesus Christ. Forgive me all my sins and shortcomings, every way or form I have come short of the standard. In your mercy, forgive me, O oh God. Forgive my family, forgive my children, forgive our city, forgive our nation. Heal our land, heal my family, heal my marriage, heal my business, heal my career, heal me spiritually, heal me physically, heal me emotionally, heal me mentally, heal me financially, heal me everywhere I hurt. I need your total and complete healing. You are my healer. You are the healer. Jehovah Rapha, heal me in Jesus' name. I confess that I am healed. I shall remain healed in Jesus' name. Say amen. Yes, you are healed, spirit, soul, and body. Next, let's pray from 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, that ye, through his poverty, might be rich. Wow. Let's pray this prayer in the name of Jesus. Say in Jesus' name, I claim all the benefit of my redemption. You became sick so that I will not be sick. You became a sin so that I will be free from sin. You became poor so that I will live in prosperity. You died young so that I may live long by faith and by understanding. I claim my redemption right. Poverty you are no longer my portion. I reject you. Aches and pains and sicknesses, you are no longer for me. I reject you. Sufferings of all kind, you are no longer my portion. I reject you. A sinful life, no more for me. I receive, I receive power to live holy and live pure before God. I claim long life and posterity. Jesus died young for me to live long. Therefore, I shall not die, but I will live to declare the glory of God. I believe it. I confess it. I receive it in Jesus' name. Say amen. Yes. Heaven, say amen to your prayer. You shall see the manifestations of these prayers. Now, let's take this from Psalm 19, verses 1 and 2. The heavens declare the glory of God. And the firmament showeth his handiwork, day by day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. This is the prayer. Say, O Lord my God, bless me from day to day, and from night to night. Be my cover during the day, and my shield at night. Let my life be filled with signs and wonders from day to day, and from today. I prophesy, my Monday is blessed, my Tuesday is anointed, my Wednesday is consecrated, my Thursday is glorious, my Friday is excellent, my Saturday is happy, and my Sunday is filled all day long and all weeks round, throughout the whole month and all my years. I am blessed and highly favored. My shortcomings are removed, my sins are washed away. My doors are opened all day, all night, everywhere, every time. My knees are met and my head is crowned. I will rejoice evermore. I will live for God and be a blessing to humanity. That is my portion in life. The grace, anointing, and power behind TPGF commissions are also in me. I shall live the rest of my days in peace, in power, and in progress, say amen. Yes, it shall be so. You shall see wonders and enjoy divine presence. No more lack, no wounds, no tears, no regrets, no injuries. 
things shall turn in your favor. In Jesus' name, say amen, amen, and amen. Right? We shall be more, build more on this tomorrow. The good thing is that you can scroll back to this series of prayers anytime, any day. Listen and pray them. They are as potent day, any day, forever. Forward this to all on your contact. Let them also pray these prayers. It shall work for them. Tomorrow is our prayer mountain service in our Abuja center. So TPGF members and all Tony Point listeners in and around Abuja be physically present tomorrow. Venue is Living Spring Chapel Kado Life Camp after the fish market. Time is 12 to 2 p.m. For more inquiries, telephone 0806-133-2800. Thursday is the prayer mountain in Ikeja, Lagos, Goshen Land. All TPGF members in and around Lagos be physically present at Living Spring Chapel at Goshen Land, opposite Allen Bus Stop, Allen Avenue Interchange, Ikeja, right on the main road there. Two services run there every Thursday, 7 to 9 a.m. for service, and 9 to 30 to 11.30 a.m. Second service, attend the one that is most convenient for you. Many people even attend the two, which is okay. Prayer focus this week is war against satanic oppression. Come to learn, to hear, to be prayed for, and to be anointed against satanic oppression. Come, mantles, anointed mantles shall be given free to you for praying and doing miracle. Come and receive your own. These two uh, services shall hold simultaneously at Dominion City, Ibadan, Kolobo, Abel Kota, Oshogbo, Akure, Uyo, and Portacot. All TPGF members in these cities, please be there. And for telephone and direction, is Dupe on 0806-478-8392. It shall be live streamed to all the whole world. Please connect. The first No More Delay Service 2024 we hold on Wednesday, May 1, from 8 a.m. from our headquarters in Ibadan, Dominion City. But it will be live streamed to all our centers in Lagos, Abuja, Abel Kuta, Oshobo, Akure, Uyo, Portacourt. Please join there physically. And the rest of the world, join online. It will be great. Our TPGF conference in UK and Europe is counting down. June 21 and 22, as we have been announcing, I will be announcing it more. I speak to everyone's life today. The power of God will rest on you. The glory of God will work for you. These prayers will be working in your life. What God cannot do does not exist. For God can do all things. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. TPGF, truly blessed.